um, it's kind of windy out here today, but, um, what up, guys, um, what up, guys, uh, Eric Steele here, Eric Steele, or Ghost of Ernie Stoner, however you guys want to call me, um, coming back at y'all with the, with the live stream here, um, you can see by the title, um, Recapping, kind of recapping a little bit about the draft that we did from um, the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I'm on a search right now for um, the Mickey's Mall motherfucking liquor. So, um, so we'll be seeing one inside a liquor store and seeing if I could find the Mickey's. Or there was another one that Raider Ben said it was a East Coast version of the Mickey's. Because, I don't know, we may not actually carry it at all, but I am going, I am driving to another state, but it's only about, a, I'm only about 20 minutes away from the, from the state line, so, shouldn't be long, but, um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do, but, um, in the meantime, though, um, Steelers draft recap, um, I'm happy with what we did, we didn't fuck up like other teams. Um, of course, the big news, um, the big one was the first one in the first round with us drafting um, Najee Harris, of course, which obviously I'm excited about. We're running back out of Alabama. Gonna Hopefully it does big things for us, and I think he will. Um, definitely excited excited for that shit, um, there's that, um, and then, of course, we drafted, um, a tight end after that in the second round by the name of Pat, Pat Free, Free, Free Muff, how, I probably didn't say that name right, but, um, he is a Massachusetts native, though, and motherfuckers here were, refer to him as, um, and motherfuckers refer to him as Baby Gronk. He's known as Baby Gronk here, so, plus he's a native of here, so, um, he is, he's in part of my home state, so, y'all, y'all motherfuckers can call me a dumbass, you guys can call me crazy, or what, shit, this car popped out of nowhere, you fucking faggot, faggot ass bitch, but, um, Y'all can call me fucking deluge. You go. You guys can call me crazy. You guys can call me whatever. But um, I'm kind of considering getting this jersey, man. Um, he, he's in my home state, man. He's from my from my home soil. So I'm actually I'm actually scoop up his jersey, man. I'm not. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I may scoop up his jersey number 87. Hopefully, he uses that number since he's known as Baby Croc. Baby Gronk is with us instead of that faggot ass organization known as the Patriots or the fucking Bucks where Big Gronk is. Um, Baby Gronk is with us. Baby Gronk is part of us now. The Pittsburgh motherfucking Steelers. And I don't know, man. I'm seriously considering getting this fucking jersey. I know the J. Harris jerseys are up for pre order on the Steelers Pro Shop, but. As soon as I see that, that Pat, Pat, um, Pat Freeman's Fre- jersey, however, if I said that name right, as soon as his name shows up, man, that I can get a jersey on the Steelers Pro Shop, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna get it, man, from my, my home state, motherfuckers, from my home fucking soil! Gotta rep that hometown, home state pride, man. And now he's going to be a Pittsburgh Steeler. So, yeah. I mean, but realistically, man, I would have gone offensive line first and then tight end. But um, but I, what happened after, man, I can't be I can't be upset about it. It's actually smart. So, because we did go, we did draft a couple of offensive line, man, man. So, um, so I'm pumped, man. Um, Derek Green... We drafted him. He's going to be playing center for us in the place of Marquise Pouncey. And then we drafted an offensive tackle as well. 
So, all in all, man, I, we get an offensive line, man. So I can't complain about that, man. I can't. And then we got a we got a linebacker too. I believe we got an inside linebacker, but he goes by the name of uh, Isaiah. He has some weird ass fucking last name, but I'm guessing he's gonna be competing for the position with um, Alex I. Smith, I believe. You know, I'm probably filling the void left by Bud Dupree. Oh, that's a defensive. We got Buddy Johnson. Buddy Johnson, another Bud. We drafted him. So we got a couple of defensive tackle, and we got an inside linebacker. So, um, so all in all, man, I can't... Um, I'm not going to lie, man. I probably would have went um, corner. I do think corner was a bit of a need for us because um, Joe Hayden, he's getting up there in age. Mike Hilton, he is with the Bengals now. So, me personally, I would have been corner, but it is what it is. But we got our biggest needs, though. Got a couple of offensive linemen. We got a tight end. So, overall, I'm happy with the draft. I think we... Overall, we think we give ourselves an A, an A minus. Overall, in this fucking draft, um, yeah, little ways. Tight end from Penn State is um, Massachusetts native. Um, my home state native, um, Pat Fre- Fre- whatever the fuck his last name is. I probably need some time to actually pronounce it right, but um. That's the Massachusetts native I'm talking about. He is from, he did play at Penn State. Um, Fuck that piece of shit school, though. And all them fucking child predators, fucking child molesters and shit. There. With a piece of shit, Jerry Sandusky. But, um, nah, man, boss. Real shit, though. I'm excited. I'm I'm happy. Um, Najee Harris is the big one. Um, we got a tight end, like I said, like we need it, like I've been saying we need it. Got that. We got a couple offensive linemen, which is good. Um, I would have went corner, but we got a defensive tackle and an inside linebacker. I mean, eh, I can't be mad about it, you know. It's, there's a big void left by um, Bud Dupree. You know, now Alex Heisman's there, maybe make us a competition. And then defensive tackle, so can't be upset. Um, it's all good, though it is what it is. Um, I wish we would have addressed a corner, but it is what it is, like I said. We'll see how far we, where we go from there, though. But we, at least we got our biggest needs, though. At least we got our biggest needs running back, a um, couple of offensive linemen, and shit. So it's all good. I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining, man, so, um, so, yeah, now, like I said, I am on my way to the fucking, to New Hampshire, maybe try a couple liquor stores, I know there's a big one here that carries a lot of rare shit that I'm going to, so, let me see, we go from there, let me see, hopefully they carry the Mickey's, or if not, I may try to find that one that Raider Ben, Raider Ben recommended, driving right now, so yeah, we are, we got some defense, little age, bro, we did get defense, bro, I just said it, we got, we got Isaiah, Isaiah, whatever the fuck his last name is, and then we got um, Buddy Johnson, and we also got Buddy Johnson, 44, the respectful legend, I've seen you around in a few, in a few Dreams, but I don't know if you're you're probably a troll though. I've seen him around in a few streams and shit. Mucho gusto ese. You spell ese or do you mean ese? Pat Tillman, what the fuck? Pat Tillman's been dead for what sixteen years now? In a friendly fire. Played for the Arizona. Cardinals. Yeah, no shit. That's how you spell S. I know, but I ain't. I ain't no fucking cholo. 
I'm def I definitely ain't no cholo or anything. Back in back in my fucking high school days, man, and my middle school days, all motherfuckers, motherfuckers be calling me that. Motherfuckers would sometimes call me that though. Ese be like, what's up, Ese? Um, because I was like the only the only Mexican in in fucking school. Growing up around here, it was mainly whites, Puerto Ricans, and Dominicans. Those are the main ones here. Well, motherfuckers be calling me... Oh, and there's a couple of Asian folks as well that I fuck with. Um, they all be calling me... Some of them would be like, What's up, ese? Because I was like the only Mexican here. But it's all good, though. Know? But I, I ain't no fucking shoulder or anything, man. I ain't about that shit. I'm just some right <laughs> I'm just some regular ordinary ass um boring ass guy I mean I don't got any tattoos or any of that shit so which I speak Spanish and all that si hablo espanol si hablo espanol entonces um pero yo no soy ni un cholo no soy ni un cholo man <laughs> you don't speak a lot of Spanish, little age. Do español no es. You do you mean no es bueno? Es no bueno makes no sense, bro. That makes no fucking sense. You gotta say it the other way. Um, I know Dominican Dominican people when they when they when they greet somebody when they say what's up, Dominicans say qué lo qué. We'll be like y qué lo qué manito. That's all. That's all Dominicans be saying. I fuck with that though. I fuck with Dominicans, man. Dominicans, Puerto Ricans. I know those guys don't like each other, but I fuck with both of them. I fuck with both Do- Dominicans, and Puerto Ricans, or as they would say, Boricuas. Uh, right turn, motherfuckers. Damn, there's a nice little, there was a nice little fall down there. Well, y'all can't see it. I used to go there a lot as a kid. Wait, what? Hold on, I can't read that right now. I'm about a few minutes away from crossing state lines, by the way. When I think Dominicans, I think MLB players. Um, yeah, they fuck with baseball big time. Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, man, they fuck with baseball big time. They're big baseball people. I don't. Not me, though. I don't really fuck with baseball. I'm more of a soccer guy. I only got raised to watch soccer, and that's it. Football, talk, same shit. That's what I got raised to watch. And I do watch it. I do watch it. Well, of course, I had to get into NASCAR and the Steelers. I had to get into on my own. I didn't. Family growing up, they don't give a fuck about football. They don't give a fuck about NASCAR. I had to get into that shit on my own. Into football, I had to get them get into on my own. Because growing up, my parents they don't give a fuck about football. They don't. They don't, and they still don't give a shit about football. They just care about soccer, and that's it. That's it. All right, guys, I'm about a, I'm about a few minutes away from crossing state lines, and the speed limit here is only 45. Hold on, let me turn the camera here so I'm in the straightaway, since I'm going straight right. So you guys can see the line. Yeah. Sure no. What the fuck? No, X. X out of that shit. There he is. I literally only got my my Damn it, the motherfuckers call me right now. Like fool, stop calling me. 
I'm in the middle of fucking live streaming this month, and we got, oh, I can't see it.
damn, I just kicked myself out. What the fuck? I just kicked myself out when I dropped my fucking phone, but, um... Well, they did relax on the mask mandate. They did relax on the mask mandate. But, since... Oh, man. I know they kind of relaxes masks mandate laws here, but... I still see motherfuckers walking around here with masks on, but... I'll put mine on... Damn, there's a lot of people here. Normally, I don't see that many people in this fucking... This is called the Country Mile. Oh, I th think I may know where to go after this if I don't find the Mickeys here. Shit, I, got, I do have a few options, man. Now that I think of it. I could go to fucking... I could take the round and go to another town in this state. Yeah, let me do that. I feel like they're maybe more common in New Hampshire, man. The fucking Victorias, man. They're they're easier to find up here in New Hampshire, but I am in New Hampshire, so um, let's get out. The One thing before I get off, man, I do kind of feel uncomfortable walking inside and talking, and then motherfuckers be looking at me like I'm a fucking weirdo. But um. So, and shit, I even feel uncomfortable on myself. Kind of feels awkward, like motherfuckers be staring at me and shit, so. Ah, let me grab a tissue here, because I am a germ freak. Yes, little H, I am in New Hampshire. Y'all saw the sign, I crossed state lines. I crossed state lines, man. All right, you may not hear me talk much, though, because I do feel awkward. Oh. Shit, hold on. Plenty of these up at the crib, but shout out to this Victoria. Look at that bunch of coronas. That's a good beer right there. That's Dominican beer right there. Try that one.
Man, what the seltzers, man? All these beer companies be coming up with the seltzers, man. Seltzers here. I'm disappointed, man. They don't got it here. Damn. Disappointing. Well, that was rather. That was rather disappointing. Let me take my mask off. Oh. God fucking damn. No fucking Mickey's. And then I look for that other name that Raider Ben said. Um, none of that shit. What the fuck, man? Why is this shit so hard to find? I know Raider Ben said he hit me up and he'd send me some over here, man. But Which I appreciate, but man, I'd rather... I'd rather just fight it myself, find that shit myself, man. Gotta do this on my own. I appreciate the fucking offer. Fuck, man. I'm thinking, right now I'm kind of thinking where to go. Because I do have a few options I could try. I could take the loop around. 
Well, I can't tell you exactly where I'm located, but I can take the loop around. I'd be in Massachusetts, but then I'd cross back into New Hampshire. Or I'd take this little back road down here, go back into Massachusetts, try the fucking liquor stores there. Or, what the fuck, that motherfucker. But, um, I'm kind of thinking right now what I can do where I go here or there. Because there's another little big convenience store like this one that carries a lot of liquor, a lot of alcohol. So, I'm kind of thinking right now. I could try a few. Or I could go keep going straight down. Or I could maybe try to go straight down. And, um, yeah, straight down. Go into that little town up there. And, uh. Oh, okay, I know where. Hold on. Let's try this motherfucker out. Ah, these mo- Damn, it's crowded here. Okay, okay. Damn, these motherfuckers be taking advantage of the no mask mandate. Some of these people. Some of these still carry masks around, but some of these motherfuckers don't. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. I know where to go. Okay. Whoa! That was quick. And here we go. Here we go. Alright. So we're going a bit north and then east. Going on this road. Alright. Alright. Malt motherfucking liquor. I can try the, some of the fucking New Hampshire wine outlets, whatever the fuck the, those are called, that there's a bunch in the state here. Maybe I can hop on in one of those motherfuckers and see what's up. Maybe I can just check in there. If not, I may try to fucking scoop back. Fucking go back and maybe try to look at the stores that are back there. And if not, um, well, look, I used to be in that dealer all the time as a kid, but, um, I am driving, Brandon Rogers. Fuck out of here. I know how to shit. You're too young for this, Brandon. <laughs> I'm finding the Mickeys, man. The fucking Mickeys. I'm malt motherfucking liquor. I gotta buy some of that shit. If I could find it to go to... Oh, and the Steelers just selected a linebacker out of Miami named Quincy Roach. So the Steelers just drafted... Another linebacker from Miami named Quincy Roach. Another linebacker. Another fucking linebacker. Um, I, sh- I should have went fucking corner. Man, y'all motherfuckers should have went corner, man. I ain't gonna bitch because I loved our first few picks I'm, I'm excited about with the offensive linemen we got. Um... Then the running back in the J. Harris, and then the tight end, who was a fellow Massachusetts native, from my home soil, Pat Free, Free, Free Myth, Free Myth, whatever the fuck. I don't know, man. We Another linebacker, though, I would have fucking drafted corner, man. I think corner was more of a need for us. Yo, you gotta listen to Sentinel, Brandon Rogers, by that cunt right there. You gotta listen. He's stating facts right there, man. Those are fucking facts. Those are fucking facts. Those are motherfucking facts. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking... 
I told y'all motherfuckers, man. I told y'all. I'm, I'm going to go to New Hampshire and search for those fucking Mickeys, man. I feel there'd be a better chance. If not, if I can't find it today, I think I know one more little... It's kind of a big city, but then it's not that I could possibly find. I may go the, down there next weekend and check it out and see if I can find some malt liquor there. The Mickeys, if not, then I don't know what else to do. Oh, 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 oh. Topsy Turvy. Topsy Turvy. Hey, unknown, I've been to Vegas, man. I've been to Vegas. Um, I'm not going to say it. I think Boston drivers are worse than fucking Vegas drivers. If you ask me, or New York. Or New York drivers, too. Fuck them. I don't think Vegas aren't that bad. From the times I've been to Vegas, man. I got, I got fucking... I got some family out in fucking Vegas. So if I could easily show up at Vegas September 4th, man, if I wanted to, because I could easily take the flight out there because I do have a place to stay at. If I go to Vegas, will I go? Who knows? Who knows, Bob? I could be lit, man. And September 4th. Um, I know LL and Billy Badass, so that, all them guys, man. Um, I know it's going to get lit out there, man. And, you know, hope, hope they have time. Will I go? Who knows, man? Who knows if I go? But if I do go, I do have a place to stay at. I got some relatives out there, so I'm good if I go out there. You're in San Diego? I used to go to California a lot back then. Back then, I used to go to California a lot. Got family scattered all over that state, man. Mainly in L.A., so if you were to ask me what I am, I'm a Southern California type person, man. L.A., man. I know a lot of people that fuck with me are from Stockton, and I've never been to Stockton before. I think the closest I've been to Stockton is um, Merced, because I do have some family in Merced, so that's the closest I'd go, I, I'd go to Stockton, so it's Merced. Okay, we're driving out here, motherfuckers. Out here in New Hampshire. little um town called uh, oh, I'm not gonna say I know uh, I know LA traffic is bad I've been there a bunch of times bro I used to go there every fucking summer almost back then but last time I went though was five years ago I haven't gone to California Born in five years, though, but I used to, like I said, I used to go out there a lot. So I kind of know my way around L.A., man. I do. And throughout, throughout mainly Southern California, um, up the 99 freeway, the I-5, the 99 freeway, the 405, the 110, the 105, um, the 710. 110 goes to, like, downtown L.A. and fucking Staples Center and all that. Um, there's the the one Pacific Coast Highway. I've been there a few times. Um, it's a beautiful drive there. I've been to Dodger Stadium once. That's pretty fun, even though I don't really fuck with baseball. Oh, son of a bitch. Have I been to San Diego? I've bypassed it. I bypassed it one time when I came from when I crossed the border from Tijuana to Mexico, Tijuana, inside of the U.S., I bypassed it, but I haven't really been to San Diego like that, man. I'm mainly an L.A. type of guy, man. That's where most of my relatives are. Is L.A., you know, I got some in Orange County, and then I got some in, up in Merced, up in... I got some in um, Tulare, Tulare, if I... Dulare, and then I got some in Merced. But well, that's about it. 
Western California. L.A., Orange County, Tulare, Tulare, and Merced. And Merced. And yes, but when I fly out there and shit, I fly out to the LAX. L.A. LAX, motherfuckers. So motherfuckers ask me, I'm an L.A. type of guy. Uh, clear. All clear. I'm on the 101. Of course, this, this ain't the 101 in California. That's a freeway. This is just a highway. The 101. Okay, now I got a notification from the Steelers app basically telling me that we got Quincy Roach linebacker out of Miami. Man, I would have wanted a fucking corner, man. I feel like the corner was more of a need. And we already drafted a linebacker earlier. So I don't understand that. I probably would have been corner instead, man. I feel like that's more of a need for us. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You got family near Pittsburgh, New York, and Virginia. Oh, that's what's up. Have you been to Pittsburgh? Because I have. I mean, if, and if y'all don't believe me, just look through my old videos and you'll see me in Pittsburgh. You'll see me in Heinz Field. I've been to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Beautiful city, man. Beautiful city. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, man, that's a... I want to go back so bad, man. That's a beautiful city to be at. Beautiful city, man. Wilton Recycling Center. I kind of like this, like these drives here, man. You're 14 and you've never been to Pennsylvania. Nah, if you're if you're a Steelers fan, um, you better get your ass over there, man. You better get your ass to Pittsburgh, man. Nothing, nothing is like going to Heinz Field for a Steelers game. You know, I've been to, I've been to I've I've seen the Steelers play here in Gillette Stadium and Foxborough and all, but. Nothing beats seeing them in, in their home stadium in Heinz Field, man. Nothing beats that shit. So, you better get your ass to Pittsburgh, man, for a Steeler game. Don't be a, don't be a TV fan or any of that. No TV fans here. Don't be a TV fan. You got film in Garbage Ass, California? Hey, I got, I got film in California, too, man. Indiana? That's great. Arizona. I do have a cousin I'm really close with that recently moved to there. So I may actually be paying a little visit out there to Arizona. I've never been to Arizona before. So I'm kind of curious about that. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah. Okay, we driving, we driving, motherfuckers. Okay, I think there's a there's a liquor store here. I think there's a about a few minutes. I'm about to hit the liquor store. Ouch. Okay. And I am stopped at the red light. And there's a truck right there. Okay, that's what's up. I'm not a fan of New York City, man. 
Why didn't you go, man? You should have gone. At least you would have gone to a fucking game, man. You should have gone. You should have gone to fucking Arlington, man. Why didn't you go? Shit, man. At least it's, at least it's a fucking game. And you're not a TV fan, but I think the ultimate goal should be to go to Hind Beach. Uh, I thought there was a liquor store here. Penguin, Penguin Convenience Subs and Deli. What the fuck? Hey, Pittsburgh Penguin fans. Y'all want to check? Do y'all the motherfuckers own that shit or what? Pittsburgh Penguins. I don't really... I know they're from Pittsburgh and all, but I don't fuck with the Penguins, man. I don't. I don't fuck with the Pittsburgh Penguins like that. Sidney Crosby's a bitch. He is a bitch. Not a fan of him. Not a fan of him at all. Uh, Raider Ben, bro, where you at, man? I wish you were in here watching right now. So you could see me go inside these fucking liquor stores. <laughs> yeah, I gotta go straight. Bro, don't be commenting that shit on here, man. Saying that your dad wouldn't let you go with a few friends and on to man. Don't be saying that on here, man. This is an adult channel, um, and motherfucker, there be motherfuckers here lurking that will use that against you, though. That could potentially use that against you. Just saying, man. Don't be saying shit like that in here, man. Come on, because then there's there's gonna be people, there's gonna be trolls that are gonna use that against you, man. Just letting you know, man. Not me, but there's tools that be doing that shit, though. So don't be saying shit like that. Uh, hurry up, light. Man, I told y'all people I was going to go to New Hampshire and, find, and, find, and try to find the fucking Mickeys, man. I told y'all I was going to do it. I tried one liquor store and I couldn't find it. Now I'm at this next one. Now I'm at this. I'm at this um, next one. Oh, and I'm just letting you know right now, since you are a minor, you are 14. Um, do whenever I pop the link for people to join the panel, um. Do not click it. Do not come in the, the panels whenever I start the link on the stream yards, man, because you are a minor, and I cannot have minors in here. I mean, I did make a few. There is a few exceptions. Um, I do allow Brennan Rogers on here. But other than that, man, um, no minors. My, if, you're, if you're a minor, stay in the comments. Just stay in the comments, and there's a drive-in theater there that I haven't gone to in years. Shit, man, I need to go to a fucking drive-in, man. The last time I went to a drive-in was... It was actually back in 2018. Ladies, what's up, girl? Um, what's up? How do you feel about the draft picks? In fact, um, I may pop the link. Man, why don't I pop in the panel and... Uh, as soon as I'm able to pop the link and talk about talk about our draft picks, Lady Steel, how do you feel? Um, because I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy for the most part. But I, I'm, I am going to stop at the liquor store. I'm going to stop at the liquor store. So, so you're going to see me driving in and talking. Um, hopefully, I find the Mickey's, man. If I'm able... As soon as I come out of the liquor store, I, I will pop the link. I will pop the link. Want to come in and talk about talk about our draft picks? Say what's up, Lady Steel, everybody who I met in person. You know, I'm proud to say that, man. I'm proud to say that I, you know, I know A Bomb and Raider Ben made up last night. Me and Lady Steel met as well at Heinz Field at a game. I think the liquor store, I think there's one here, if I remember correctly. 
I think there's a New Hampshire Outlets and Liquor, right? Oh, son of a bitch. Who the fuck is it? Where the fuck is this? Wait, wait, there's a Celtic pizza there. Was it in that fucking... Uh, no. 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 Celtic pizza? Man, I thought they fucking closed that shit down. I thought they fucking closed that shit down. You got my... Wait, what? Oh. And my... Bill's Mafia, bro. When do you go live, man? When do you go live? Just saying. I'm... I mean, there's a lot of motherfuckers that go live, it's hard to keep up with who, go li- who goes live and who doesn't, and that used to be a fucking Taco Bell, and now it is a Donut First Express, oh my god, that is filthy, no, oh, that's closed, what the fuck, that is closed, that used to be a fucking Taco Bell, let's see, there's a Rite Aid pharmacy right there, I could have sworn it was a liquor store around here, man, I should have gotten taken the other fucking way, what the fuck? Am I modded on your channel, Bills Mafia, man? Because you know I modded you up on both channels, man. I mean, I don't really care much, to be honest, but... You know, you know I got you modded here. Hey, you know, you, whenever you see... Whenever you see trash come in here... Come in here... Um, you better boot the motherfuckers out. Wait, what? Oh, hold on, let me hear <laughs> Shit, I could have sworn there was a fucking liquor store. Son of a bitch. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Gonna turn. I'm turning right. Damn, my legs are kind of feeling weird now. Oh, nice nice to see motherfuckers here. Don't have, do not have the mask mandate anymore. Something that we lack. Oh, okay. Am I modded on my backup channel by any chance? On uh, is Ernie Stotner modded over there too, or no? Oh damn, this gas station's gone. What the hell? That gas station's gone. Had to go to the doctor's yesterday because I was feeling under the weather, so I'm recovering. I hope it's nothing serious, Lady Steel. I know you're going through some shit, but hope it's nothing. Hope it's nothing crazy. Okay, I think I may have wasted time going this way, to be honest with y'all. Papa Joe's Humble Kitchen. That is new. That is a new one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look, there's a Donald Trump supporter right there. There is a Donald Trump supporter. Damn, I could have sworn there was a liquor store in that fucking plaza, man. I could have sworn, man. I'm just wasting my time. By the looks of it, I do have a few more in mind that I could go to, though. But after that, I got to call it a day, man. I got it. I got to call it a fucking day. God damn. Let's see. 
Oh, look, there's the 101 right there. Here is a freeway here. This is a freeway. Oh, shit, red light. Red light. Red light. I don't know when you go live, man, because a lot of motherfuckers be going live. It's hard to keep up with... There's so many of y'all that I fucking have on here, man. It's hard to keep up with who's live and who isn't, man. Who did you guys draft? Bills Mafia? I don't... I don't follow... I don't follow the Bills like that. So, I don't... I'm not really sure who you guys drafted, to be honest. We got an edge rusher too, though. We did draft the edge rusher. Oh, and you got two of them. I see. But I like what we got, though. We got our running back, tight end, and then we got a couple of offensive linemen as well. Oh, fair and avid. That is a weird name. But shout out to Pat Pat Friedman, the tight end we drafted. Shout out to him. Um, he is nicknamed he is nicknamed Little Gronk here, and he is from my home soil. So I'm seriously considering getting this jersey. I'm not even kidding, man. I'm seriously thinking about getting this fucking jersey and repping it. Fellow fellow guy from a home soil, repping the black and gold. Repping the black and gold. Uh, Excuse me. I just broke. Shit, man. I know that, I know for, for a fact there's a liquor store here where I'm about to stop by and shit. Okay. Welcome to Blank, New Hampshire. Uh, This town, there is, is nothing. This town, they really ain't shit here. Who the fuck is that? It's me, I'm sad. The Steelers just traded up. We traded with the Miami Dolphins earlier, dude. Whoever you are. We traded with the with the Miami Dolphins earlier. They just drafted Candace. Well, I make I'm well. If that's true, I make I'm gonna get the notification and up in any minute now. If that's the case, if that's the case. I'm literally I'm about to get notified here. Oh, look at that car coming up! I don't know if y'all can tell. I am driving. Shit, man. I'm kind of disappointed that I did this, that I went this way now. I'm disappointed. We didn't even go through that fucking Alamo restaurant. Old Country Culture Antique Shop. Damn, that truck goes up in there as soon as, every time I drive by, I always see that fucking truck there. I always see that truck. Can this dick fit in your mind? Okay, that's got to be a troll. That's got to be a troll. 
Hey, Bills Mafia, why don't you do something about it, man? Since you're since you got a wrench on here, I think that's a troll. Fit in your mouth. I think that's a troll. <clears throat> Let's see, Greg. Greg Rao, Ra, I can't even say that, pronounce that, in the first round. And in the second round, you've got Carlos Basham Jr., a.k.a. Boogie, from Wake Forest, I see. Like I said, I don't, I don't follow college like that, so I'm, I wouldn't know much. So, yeah. Let's see the speed limit here is 50. And we are about to pass by the worst Mexican. We are about to pass by the worst Mexican restaurant I've ever had. Right shortly. Oh shit! It's not there anymore. Ah ah! Yeah, get the fuck out of here. It's called Juanita's Mexican Restaurant. That is probably the worst Mexican restaurant. Check that out, and check it out right there. I don't know if y'all caught that. Nah, but that's got to be the worst Mexican restaurant I've had, personally. The food was disgusting. No flavor in the tacos. Uh, Mexican restaurant... Let, let, me, let me tell y'all something, man. I don't, I don't fuck with the Mexican restaurants here. I really don't, with the exception of two of them. That's it. One that's in my hometown that's actually legit, and then the other one is up in is in this state, New Hampshire. Is New Hampshire? Out of here, called those are the only two Mexican restaurants are in this area, man. Is one in my hometown called Super Wings. And then the other one called La Carreta that's in Nashua, New Hampshire. That's it. That's it. If y'all motherfuckers want good Mexican food, man, go to the hoods of L.A. Go to the fucking hoods of L.A., man. That's where it's at. If you want some good Mexican food, go to the hoods of L.A. You gotta, you gotta go to the fucking hoods, man, for that shit. Maybe the hoods of San Francisco, maybe... I mean, I've never been there before, but I'm pretty sure they may have good Mexican food. In the hoods, of course, like Oakland or some shit. Or, I don't know, maybe Stockton, Merced. I think I've had a few in Merced. Um, maybe Fresno. I don't know. I, I mainly just bypass Fresno. Maybe you should ask a personal security guard. <laughs> oh my god! I, I I were really gonna start with this necrophilia bullshit now. The Alamo Texas Barbecue and Tequila Bar. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. Right there. That's more of a Texan restaurant. That's been closed for a while, man, and then they opened back up. I've never been there before. Man, get the... F- Candace just died, bro. What the... F- man, I'm really going to start with this ne- necrophilia shit, man. Y'all are some weird-ass motherfuckers, man. Y'all, y'all are some weird-ass motherfuckers. What's with this? I know there's a lot of necrophilia troll accounts that be rolling around in wash streams. I know that. You didn't like the Titan pick, Lady One, bro? Nah, I think Titan was a bit of a need for us, man. Because Vance, Mc, Vance McDonald retired. And Eric Ebron sucks, bro. Um, like I said, I would have welcomed back 
Jesse James with open arms, but nah, man. I think that was good. I mean, we got a fellow, we got a, we got a guy from my home soil, man. Here is a liquor store right here, guys. What the fuck? It's called Tobacco Haven Convenience Store. Oh, okay, it says liquor. Okay, there it is. New Hampshire Liquor Wine and Outlet. Damn, there's a lot of motherfuckers here. I'll give you the chance. Come on, retards. Uh, okay, I'm going to pull in here. Uh, here. Pulling in here. Okay, I arrived at one liquor store. I arrived at one liquor store. LL loves necrophilia. Oh, get the... F Yo, get rid of the fucking necrophilia accounts, man. I don't have time for that shit, man. Come on, Lady One builds Mafia. You got wrenches, man. Get rid of that shit, man. I don't need to be seeing that shit, man. I think the tight end we got, which is Pat... Pat Free... Free... I can't even say his fucking last name right. I, um, Freed, Freed Myth, Free Myth, free, whatever the fuck his name is, is, how you say his last name. The big problem I had is what I feel we addressed tied to it. I mean, we kind of made up for it, dude, with the with the offensive lineman we got, man. Especially with the center we got, man. So, I can't complain about that, man. At least we got with a couple of offensive linemen. But, um... Nah, man, but Pat, Pat Free, Friar Myth, man, um, and y'all, you can call me, you can call me crazy all you want, Lady One, bro, but, but I may actually get his jersey because, um, he's from my home soil, man, he's from my fuck home soil, he's from my home state, my home soil, man, so I may actually get his jersey, man, and now he's gonna be repping the black and gold, motherfuckers. So I'm actually get his jersey, actually, believe it or not. And motherfuckers here nickname him Little Gronk. He's actually nicknamed here Little Gronk. Believe believe it or not, man. Here he is nicknamed Little Gronk. And Little Gronk is a Pittsburgh Steeler. So I will I probably will get his jersey. But I'm about to get off. And let me let's find this malt liquor. All right, you guys aren't gonna hear me talk much when I walk in, but but don't leave though. I'm still reading. Hold on, guys. Let me actually text my sister real quick on something. Hold on, guys. Let me text my sister real quick about something that I just saw here. Hold on.
Oh yeah, that's a fact, Lady One. Damn, and that text message is not sending shit. I'm not curious about this one though. People were trolling about him or something. That's what I thought. Was there a disrespect? I thought because of the names of the counts that were commenting, I thought it was a troll. I think Somebody got get rid of that account right there. I kind of want to get this, to be honest with y'all. I kind of want to get this right here.
Looks like they don't have it here. God, they don't fucking have malt liquor here. What the fuck kind of shit is that? I miss here damn no one else commented and there's eight people here watching mac fit mac canada will run the, the fact 
Randy Fagner's a piece of shit. He does not. He did not know what the fuck he was doing. Um, he's an idiot. Hey, we'll see if we if we, if we change his name to Baby Heath, but for now, man, motherfuckers know Pat Pat Friedman as Baby Gronk, though. Just letting you know right now, he is from my home soil, so. Oh my god. All right, one more chance. If I don't see it, then tough luck. Gonna have to try something else. And this fucking retard trying to come out at the same time I will. Hey, better not fucking hit me, motherfucker. And I think he is trying to hit me. But you'll be at fault, bitch. You'll be at fault, motherfucker. <laughs> I get when I whenever I replay some streams where I get fucked up and instead of saying motherfucker, I say motherfucker. Uh, okay, I'm good. Wait, why am I turning left? Okay, obviously I'm a moron. I should have... Let me turn it around right here. No one's coming. No. Go. I don't know why it went that way. Oh, shit. My battery's at 20% already. Fuck. Malt liquor. Why is this guy pulling over? Why is he assisting him or what? Oh, what the hell? Oh, damn, that would have been cool to live in that house right there. Alright, well, that was a failure. Nah, that was a waste of time. I probably should have just gone to the other one that I didn't go to yet. So I, I'm going to be back in Massachusetts briefly, but then be back in NH. Then be back in NH. So yeah. That's just popping next. And I'm about to cross the state line right now. Back to Massachusetts. Back to Massachusetts. And Reen. And there's a sign right there. Right there. So we're back in Massachusetts now. So, yep, so we are officially back in. We're officially back in Massachusetts. Officially back in Massachusetts. Let's see, hidden drive. Self-storage. Okay, is that really MacMain7 or is that a troll account? Hey, is that really MacMain7 or is that a... I'm not pretty sure that that's a troll account. Man, y'all motherfuckers got no fucking lives, man. Y'all some weird-ass motherfuckers, man. With the necrophilia bullshit. Oh, that's a that's a troll account, yeah. Because the real the real MacMain seventy has a mod. The real MacMain seventy has a wrench on here. He has a wrench. So if you don't see MacMain MacMain seventy in blue, then that's a troll account. If you do see him in blue, then that is him. Yeah, get him out of here. If that's a troll account, come on, moderators, come on, boot him out. Necrophilia. What? what is with this necrophilia shit, man? Y'all some weird ass motherfuckers. Y'all are some fucking weird ass motherfuckers. Whoever's coming up with that shit. Whoever's coming up with that shit, man, are some weird ass motherfuckers.
Oh my god. I will I will put this stream on private though. As soon as I end this live stream, um I will put it on private. But it will still be up on my backup channel though, so if anyone that wants to see the replay of this, go to my backup channel, the ghost of Rennie Stockner. And you'll see it there. On that man on this channel though, I will put it on private. I will be putting it up, putting it on private. Uh, this is kind of my last chance here, though. If not, I'm gonna have to try next weekend, perhaps. Maybe if I don't got anything going on, maybe take a drive a little south. That's still weird. That is still weird as fuck. Man, moderators, man, if you see some shit like that, just boot them out. Give them 300. Give them 300 as soon as you see shit like that. Some weird ass shit, man. From necrophilia to fucking incest. Man, y'all are some weird ass motherfuckers. Y'all are some fucking weirdos. Y'all are some fucking weirdos. Okay. Okay. And there's a little turn here. It's not probably gonna have gone through that fucking road to avoid this light. I feel like this little school here, this school's baseball team here, um, is affiliated with the Pittsburgh Pirates, man. I feel like this little baseball team that, that comes here is Pittsburgh Pirates affiliated. Why do I say that? Because look, 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 look. I don't know if y'all saw that. I don't know if, did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? It had some pirate-like letters. I feel like that team associates with the Pittsburgh Pirates, man. I feel like they are Pittsburgh Pirates affiliated. And the lettering on everything is the same as that as them motherfuckers. Yeah, I can't wait for that shit, man. And I I want to go to the Patriots and Bucks game when. When the Bucks, they're gonna, it's gonna be here in Boxboro, but I, I'd only do that if the Steelers are on a bye week or if they don't play that day. But if they do play on the same day, then I can pretty much forget about it, forget about going to that game. But I would like to go to that game, man. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Tom Brady's bitch ass visiting his former team, who, who but in fact. It's too. A bunch of faggots as well. So, um, but I'd go to that game and I'd probably wear my. If I get it by Monday, my Terry Bradshaw jersey for that game if I go. If not. But if the Steelers play that day, then I can forget about going to that game. Because I do want to go to Heinz Field for a game this year. I want to take the trip out to Pittsburgh again. 
man, I gotta go back, man. I gotta go back to Pittsburgh. And the game I want to go to with us is um, when we play the Seahawks. Is the game where we play the Seahawks. Of course, it all depends on when it's scheduled and all that. To determine what game I go to this year. But I definitely, I definitely plan on taking a trip to Pittsburgh again this year. So y'all stay tuned for that. Who knows, maybe I could... Maybe I could meet up with Lady Steel again. Who knows, man? I could meet up with other people like Renegade 412, the original 412, Renegade 412, um, Steel Maiden, um, a typer in my chat, sometimes Doug, Steel Jackson, I know he's a little from there. Um, Shit, man, I'll even say Yens Nation Sport, if he's down. And then, hey, I'm not to meet any of the motherfuckers, man. Steve Yens, MacMate70, if he can take the trip up to Pittsburgh, I'll meet up with, I'll meet up with, um, MacMate, Renegade412, Steel Maiden, Steel Jackson, LC Muscles, the Steel Twins, I'll meet up with them guys, too. Shit, man, I'd, I'd be done to meet any of them people, man. Lee, you want, if you want to get your ass up to Pittsburgh, um, let's meet up, man. We can meet up, too, if you want to If you plan on taking the trip to Pittsburgh, man. Beautiful city, man, beautiful city. And now, y'all may ask, why do you plan on going to the... Why do you want to go to the game against the Seahawks? Well, the reasons may be are probably obvious why, but yeah, <laughs> that's the game I want to go to this year, though, is Steelers and Seahawks, because, oh, you are going to Steelers game this year, lady one, yeah, man, you gotta go, bro, you don't want to be a TV fan, bro, you do not want to be a TV fan, so go to a game, um, go to a game, Man, get rid of that account. What is nuts? It went from necrophilia to fucking incest, man. Get, get rid of that. Get rid of that shit. Moderators, if you see that, if you see shit like that, get them out of here. Get them the fuck out of here. This motherfucker slowing down. Tarted ass motherfucker. Real shit, man. News or part. Yeah, and make a video that you're there, bro. Show evidence you're out of game, man. And from there on out, nobody can call you a TV fan. Once you do that shit, man, you will never be called a TV fan ever. So, so as soon as you, as soon as you step in highest field, take that fucking camera out, pop it on, hit record, and show that you're in field, man. You gotta show fucking evidence that you're in the game, man. Then nobody can ever call you a TV fan. Once you do that shit. 
want to do that shit, nobody can call you a fucking TV fan. Okay. Oh, they tore that down. What the fuck? Look. That used to be a little ice cream stand. It used to... It was closed for a few years now, but... Damn, they tore that shit down. What the fuck? They fucking tore it down. That's kind of sad. Well, another piece of childhood memories lost right there. Hey, you should go. You should go to that Game Bills Mafia, man. Well, I think we're playing Buffalo this year, though. But um, kind of, it was a nice stadium, man. And yeah, posing. I know Philly fans, Eagle fans are. Damn, this town is kind of weird. I don't know, there's... So, since I'm in this right now, man, like, I want to show you all a little story. It's unrelated to Steelers and all that shit, but, um... But basically, back in high school, right, uh, one of my closest friends who... One of my very closest friends who I still... Who I still talk to this day, actually... I'm still in contact with him, but, um, he had a, he had an ex-girlfriend, right? And she, you know, she was good looking. She had a, she had a nice ass. Let's put it that way. Um, she was, she was fine as fuck. And, um, she was fine as fuck. They worked together for about a year. They dated her and my good friend. And back when I, when I was taking driving classes back in high school, um, I I, I kind of went to, at the same time he did. Um, obviously his drive time was done, and then I was getting started, so we had to drop him off at his at his girl's house sometimes, and I and I actually know where she lives and everything, man. Uh, next, uh, her her parents are rich as fuck, man, and I believe. I know she got a big education down south from here, and she she went on she basically her parents had money so she could afford to go to schools to go to the good schools and shit and all that right and um and well she still lives she still lives at home she still lives at home with her parents to this day actually um but um but she's got a nice hat she's got she's fine as fuck. Um, but her attitude can be kind of shitty at times. I mean, she was always nice to me, though. But, but the fucked up thing is that, um, they break up. 
I believe my good buddy to be with somebody else, so they broke up, and I guess they had a falling out as well, which, by the way, she, 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 her parents had a fucking, um, She kind of started reaching more. Is this shit buffering or can you guys hear me? So she started reaching out to me a bit more. You know, she get well, I'm gonna get to that part later, but um and then prom was coming up and you know, she she wanted me, she didn't say it but she wanted me to take her to prom, you know, she was really interested. And you know, I kinda did too, but but then there was a part of me that wanted to take her to prom, but then there was a part of me that was like, Nah, that's fucked up, especially because with this good buddy of mine, I go back, I go way back in the day with him, man. I really d- did. I've known him since fucking first grade, so I go back. That's about 20 years ago now, so I go way back with him, and I still talk to him, and I still talk to him to this day, and I'm, and I still talk to him to this day, so, um, so part of me was like, nah, that's fucked up. I can't be doing that, and I didn't. I talked to her and I basically, I basically told her like, hey man, um, you're cool and all, and you're beautiful, but I can't be doing this because I am good friends with you know, her ex, he's one of my closest friends on here, so I can't be doing that, and there, and yeah, that's what happened. I didn't take her, to, I did go to prom, but I didn't take her, um, because of that, because, especially because of prom, I was hanging out with him a lot, too, I was with him a lot, so, yeah, I could do that, man, I was fucked up, and on senior sign-out day, she was, she was two grades below me, she was two grades below us, so, so I went to go see her briefly during my last day, and she did write down her she did write down her number, actually, on my yearbook. She did write down her number on my yearbook. And she wrote down her name on my yearbook, her number on my yearbook. And we did text back and forth. And we, and we were supposed to meet up a few times, actually, after that. But, um, but things didn't go through. And we went on with what we did with our lives and shit. We basically went kind of separate ways. I did my own thing and she did her own thing. And there's that, man. There's that. And um, I did reach out to her not that long ago saying what's up and, and seeing if she was interested interested in um, maybe hanging out somewhere or whatever. But I don't know. Based on her response, um, I don't think she was interested. So she she did say that um, sorry, but I got but I don't have time to really hang out. Which I really think that meant she's not interested. But uh, whatever. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. I took a fucking photo shoot here. Let's see, Steelers selection, Oklahoma corner, Trey Norwood. Finally, we get a fucking corner, man. That was a need for us, so, um, that was a need for us as cornerback, so, um, okay, I like it. I like it. I like it. Good shit. At least you feel the need. Uh, Excuse me. Oh, he was a 2020 Cotton Bowl defensive MVP. Okay, good shit. All right. Good. Good. 
good shit. What's up, Jerry? I see you in the chat. What's up, Jerry? I see you in the chat. The Urchel family. Get him out of here. I love incest. Man, y'all are some weird-ass motherfuckers, man. I took a fucking photo, photo. I took a picture of myself one time on the middle of this very right here. I wish I still had it, man. I, I wish I still had it. It was on, it was on my friend's camera, so it was on my friend's camera. I took that picture. Not now that I think about it. Was, um, this is a nice view right here. Shit, man, batteries are twelve percent. So, so if I end up going to another liquor store, man, um, I you may not be able to see it. I may have to end it shortly. It's a twelve percent, but you will definitely see me going to this liquor store, though. All right, guys, we are back in New Hampshire again. And the speed limit goes up. And the speed limit goes up. Can you guys hear me or not? Or is it buffering, man? What the fuck? I think there's a liquor store coming up here shortly. I think there is a liquor store coming up here very shortly. If I remember correctly. If not, there is another one close by. Damn, where the fuck is it? I know there was one near here somewhere. Set going on. It is 6:26 p.m. right now here in here in um, New Hampshire. Damn, it's a little farther than I thought. I'm still I'm still driving, motherfuckers. I say that when I'm drunk. Instead of saying motherfuckers, I say motherfucker. Damn, I gotta get some of this shit for Raider Ben Street tonight, man. Black Saturday is back. Raider Ben Street, you know. Oh, 
Converseville Road. What kind of name is that? Yeah, guys, um, if I don't find any at this liquor store, there is one more liquor store that I'm going to try, but I'm going to, but I don't think you guys going to be able to see. I'm going to have to cut this, cut the stream short if I end up having to go to another one because my battery is at 11% right now. So if you don't see me grab one and you and I have to go to another one, you guys won't be able to see it because I'm going to have to cut the stream short and the stream uh, after I after I go inside the liquor store. So Yeah. If I have to unfortunately. God, I could have sworn it was a bit closer. But I, I promise it's a bit shortly I'm about to get there. I think it should be at this corner, or not the next one. I know it's on my right-hand side. Okay, I think this is it right here. I think this is it. Damn, that's a, that's a lot of plaza right there filled with nothing. West of the border. Beer and wine. New England coffee. Damn, they made a gas station us. Back then it back then this just used to be a this just used to be a convenience store back then. Now they add a gas station to it. Okay. Two more. If I don't find one here, I'll go to the next one. If not, then I'm gonna have to try again another day. Who's still in here, man? Oh, shit, my battery's at 10% now. Uh, hold on. Let me put the camera on myself. like I don't see it. Oh look, there's a Vermont brewed one. Switchback Ale. Ah, oh, they're laughing. Son of a bitch, they don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it, guys. I may grab a drink, though. I may actually grab a little drink here. Excuse me. You don't have any of the Mickey's malt liquor?
Et non, hein. Okay, guys, we don't have it. I will try. I will try. Let me take this fucking mask off. I will try one more liquor store, but you guys will not be able to see it because my phone is at 9%, man. So, as far as Pittsburgh Steelers go, as far as Pittsburgh Steelers go, um, I'm happy with our draft picks. At least we got a corner. We got a linebacker. Um, we got a couple of offensive linemen as well. And we got the tight end and the running back. So I'm happy with what we got for the most part. So, yeah. Um, yeah, as always, let's go Steelers. And, um, whoops. I'm not even tall, bro. Unknown, dude. I'm not even tall. I'm only 5'9". That's it, bro. Like, if you want to see a tall motherfucker, um, Ash Raider's tall as fuck. I know, I know he's tall as a motherfucker, but nah, bro, I'm only 5'9". That's it. I consider myself a short dude, but, um, by my, uh, damn, that's at 8%. So, um, unfortunately, you're not going to see me go to the other last liquor store I got in mind for today because my phone is dying. So... So with that being said, um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. This is Eric Steele here checking them out. You guys take care, and I and I hope to see y'all tonight over at Raider Ben Stream Black Saturday. It's gonna go down. So hope to see y'all tonight at Raider Ben Stream. All right, I'm out.